my biggest goal going in is is to truly recognize how how much I've been holding back in life. If I don't like fully grasp of how much I can accomplish in my life, then I never will. Today is 25th of November, so we leave in about 10 days to go to California. The days leading up to the race, I'm just I'm just trying to get a feel for the water. I'm trying to get a feel for, you know, how flat the bike course is gonna be, what the run course is gonna look like, just trying to get my body ready for the for the climbing in general. Joining me on the trip is probably two of my best friends, my girlfriend and then my roommate. They've really been the two people that have endured the most from my training and had to conquer me being like angry at times, me like not pushing myself as hard as I should have at times. And they've been those two that I've leaned on for support and encouragement. But really I thank everybody that's been along like for the ride. So we're at the Ironman Village. We're about to check in. And if you look at the scenery, I'm getting a little nervous. The mountains, we couldn't see it last night when we came in because it was too dark, but now it's starting to set in. The race is tomorrow. Here we go. So <laughs> okay, so we're here with uh, Austin Greer. He just finished. Uh, he's a little sweaty and nasty, but you know, that's what happens. Um, Mile nine in the run, they had cookies. <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. You had a cookie? Got a cookie. So I had a cookie. <laughs> so it was almost like a boxer. You know how if a boxer gets in the ring, but they forget all their training? That's what it felt like. I got in the water and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And like, <laughs> I started getting like anxiety and got like, it was bad. You killed it. I uh, almost got hit by you because I was running late, but you were amazing, bro. You look like a superhero out there. Was it worth the shot? Almost wrecked. Coming in on the bike. I wouldn't campaign for someone to do an Ironman. I would campaign for someone to do something they've always wanted to do. We set these boundaries in our life because mainly because people are telling us we're not capable of doing that thing. And I've experienced that through my training, like people telling me that like, Austin, you're crazy. Austin, you can't do this. Austin, what are you thinking? But pushing past that every single day, just so I can overcome that. And it's not for other people, it's for myself. But whatever that be, whether that be an Ironman race or anything else, you're like trying to take that step, you're gonna thank yourself later for it.